We got to take the subway into Queens. I knew that City Field probably at that time of day wasn't gonna be as crazy as MSG and Rucker Park, but I know my baseball so well, I said, you know what, stick it out at City Field, place well, get a top three finish, and then move on from there. For me today, I feel as though this is a make or break type day. We were all really hyped up from the subway ride, and I didn't even realize at that point it was so early in the afternoon. It was a ghost town. There was no one there. Wow, this is gonna be challenging for Bruno and Corey. I couldn't find anybody. I found one guy, D, he was a character. You're not too much into baseball. Basketball I'm not too much into baseball. So why don't we just flip the switch on everybody? Why Let's not? talk ball. Why not? All right? This guy that he was talking to had, didn't know a thing about baseball, so I'm thinking, like, why is he doing that? Okay, so what's your team? New York Knicks, baby, home team, baby. Ooh, what do you think about the Brooklyn Nets? Mello, we got this this year, you heard? Do you really want to speak basketball when you're at a baseball stadium? And afterwards, Corey is just kind of, I see him standing up against the wall, and I guess he had just given up. A temperature warning just popped up on my camera. Yeah. I've never seen yeah, it yeah, before. Yeah, that's where I'm at right here. Can I take my clothes off yet? I just think Andrew Corey dropped the ball. I'm just gonna give him my, I was gonna take his contact Sure, so sold. that's fine. This is the business, right? When it comes to sports broadcasting, you could be put anywhere, really. A place you're not comfortable with, a, you know, a venue you've never been to before. I have to find someone. I have to just pick up anybody, really, even if they're not even a good speaker. And do you get jealous? Because, like, obviously the Mets, they haven't had a lot of success recently. The Yankees, it's like every year, postseason, 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 postseason. Like, do you, are you jealous as a Mets fan? I'm not really jealous because I see a bright future ahead. Patience is a virtue, man. I go back to all the fans. I'm like, please, someone, do any of you want to talk to me? Well, baseball, you're all here. You're all baseball fans. Just give me your feelings about the New York Yankees. Uh, it's not the Yankees. It's A-Rod. He's despicable. Bruno talked to a gardener who didn't speak English, trying to get him to come talk to him in the final 30 seconds. I know that Greg Sansoni's going to look at that and say, Bruno worked hard. He never gave up. Getting in the top three. <laughs> That's what I want. Come on. No one on the street, nobody. You can't make excuses. We had nobody. So please, please take that into consideration. There was no one around. We got out of the subway in Harlem and right away I was amazed. You have tall apartment buildings on one side with playgrounds and then across the street you have Rocker Freaking Park. The idea that I have an assignment where I'm gonna to get to interview characters at Rucker Park is insane. I'm, I'm not gonna make another schoolboy mistake. I wanna ask some questions about people that are at Rucker Park. So many personalities there, so many people around. It's such a tight space too, so you don't even have to venture off too far to find somebody. Immediately this dude with the camera is into the game. Bingo, I'm already in. I've got, a, I got my first interview. So I got some rapid fire questions for you. Knicks or the Nets? Knicks. You want to do quick things. People, people's attention spans are... Do you like the finals or do you like March Madness? Oh. Finals. NBA or NCAA? NCAA. Who's the most fashionable athlete? Deion Sanders. J.R. Smith. I say Shaq simply because he's a big man and he still dresses well. I want to make sure that I hit my angle, which is just a street survey about the people in this neighborhood. My name is Joe Spotu. Canada, all the way from New York City. There you go. Guys, thanks for your time. Thank you. It's not easy going up the random street. One of the hardest things to do, and, and being told no is never easy. Give me three minutes. In and out. That's my guy. Who's the greatest player you've ever seen come across this court? Kevin Durant. How important is a nickname in this culture? Ah, uh, see now, you do something special out here, that's when they get a nickname. Life in Harlem, playing basketball here, growing up on the streets, this is what it's about. How does one get that nickname of the first lady? Well, my dad is actually one of the commentators here. Oh, no way. And they call him the mayor, so they gave me the first lady. What's your signature move? Yero. The Yero, what's that? Two steps. To the basket. Can you fake dunk a ball for me right now? Go. Hammer it home. He fake dunked it. I'm Teddy Jenner. I'm going to go see if I can get a nickname. This is Rucker Park in Harlem, and you're watching Sportsnet 360. I thought that I went right to the top.
So when we arrived at MSG, there was just people everywhere. It is absolutely wild. It's a zoo. That was like, you know, the golden ticket. Just after work time, everybody's walking by. Not many people wanted to stop. But I don't got the time right now. I'm It'll be, it, won't, it won't be more than two minutes. I was walking up to them and they just wanted nothing of it. Like it's hustle and bustle where I was. Who wants to do this? Who wants to do this thing? It's crazy here. 100,000 people walking around me. Just gotta try and pick out the ideal guy for the interview. So I knew they'd have no problem uh, picking people. The question is, would they be able to pick the right people? Shinyu, first of all, are you a big New York sports fan? No. I do love sports. Okay. Okay. No problem. I'm the real paparazzi. <laughs> I wanted to keep it lighter. Everything's been pretty serious over the last little bit. Hey man, do you want to be a part of this? What's, what's going on? Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, Will, is go through the Sportsnet 360 right. rapid fire quiz. Are you let's ready to go? Let's do it, let's go. Okay, Yankees or Mets? Yankees. Knicks or Nets? Ooh, I'm digging the Nets right now. When people talk to you about the Jets, how do you feel? Sad. Carmelo Anthony or God? God. Trick question, Carmelo Anthony is God. I have a very brave man standing beside me. He's walking around New York City in a Red Sox jersey. Who wins in a fight, Tom Brady or Eli Manning? Eli. Tom Brady's too pretty, man. I'm going for Eli. Tom Brady. What? Big year, Tupac. Big year, Tupac? Toronto. Awesome. Eduardo Nunez. I don't know, Canada, is that right? I don't think so. Third baseman. No problem. Carmelo Anthony tore his ACL. What do you think about that? That did happen. I'm totally killing you. Totally pulling your arm. Carmelo's gonna be fine. He's gonna be back. The Knicks are looking good. I thought that it was definitely my best performance up until this point. I thought that I delivered well. I thought that I made people laugh. I thought I was engaging in my challenge. I thought that I showed a different side of myself, which I hadn't yet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. You too, Harris. Okay. For Sportsnet 360, I'm Harrison Bordon. I'm feeling really good at this point, and if I can win one or two here, I have a serious shot at this thing. 